Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I'm going to can read off, and um, we'll be starting our free dynamic course with vector fields, examples of vector fields, and how to plot vector fields. So quickly, let us go through some definitions. So when you talk about a vector field, a vector field on two or three dimensional space is a function f. That assigns to each point x, y, or x, y, z a two or three dimensional vector given by f of x, y, or f of x, y, z. And we have this being an example of a vector field. So let me illustrate this here. So, a quick illustration. So, a quick illustration when you have a point x y and you want to assign a vector field to it then we can have the vector field as f of x y equals x i plus y g so you realize this is a two point and you've been able to get a vector field to represent these two points so this becomes a vector field so this is an example of a vector field and remember it is two dimensional so when you have a function let's say x y z a point x y z then our vector field will be f of x y z to be equal to x i plus y g plus z k so these are examples of vector field so mostly when you have a vector field we are mostly asked to plot it so mostly when you are being asked to plot a vector field so the plot of the vector field so to graph the vector field we need some points and mostly we should know that it's not easy to graph a vector field manually so we do that with the aid of plotting tools but we can mostly know how to plot um, a 2d vector field by hand so for instance with this particular vector field f of x y equals x i plus y g if you are asked to plot this vector field how do we do that so mostly this is what we do we use arbitrary points to plot our vector field. So let's see, this is our point. This is our vector field. And we would like to represent it in this form. So you realize that our vector field our vector field is xi plus yg. So when we take the arbitrary point one zero. This point we just take any arbitrary point so when you take this arbitrary point one zero you realize that you're going to get xi so that means that the y component will go out because the y component here is zero so this is going to give us one zero if we take negative one zero we will have minus xi and this plus will give us this place will give us this when we take this component zero one now we are going to get just yg so this will give us zero and one and when you take zero negative one we're going to get minus yg and this is going to give us zero negative one and let's take a last point see one one we are going to get i plus g which will give us one and one so remember at this point i'll be trying point to just select and our vector field was si plus yg so when you put this point inside this is what you end up with so the next thing we do is that we plot this so let us try to plot this so we draw a Cartesian plane you know this our x and this our y so we have one here let's see two here three here we have negative one negative two say negative three we have one here two here see three we have negative one negative two negative three so now we are coming to plot the vector field so you remember that the first point was one zero and this is the point one zero which when you take the point one zero realize that with the point one zero our corresponding um point for the vector was 
for the vector field was 1, 0. So what this moves is that when you have the point 1, 0, we move 1 in the x direction and we don't move in the y direction since the y direction, the y component here is 0. So you realize that we have this point. There's a point 0, 1. So we are moving 1, positive 1 in the x direction. So that means we are going to move here and this becomes our... I think I created a different thing. We are going to move here and this becomes the vector field. So when you take the second point minus 1, 0, we know negative 1, 0 is found here. So you realize that our given vector field is negative 1, 0. So that means we move negative 1 in the s direction and we should go this way. So that means that is the vector field. Then, when you take the second point was 0, 1, and we all know 0, 1 is this point. And when the 0, 1, it was moving 1 in the positive y direction. So that means from here it moves 1. So this is that vector field. And when it comes here, we had 0, negative 1. So there is 0, negative 1. And 0, negative 1 is also moving negative 1, or it's moving 1 in the negative y direction. So that means we also have something like this. And the last point we took was 1, 1. So we know this is 1, 1. This is a point 1, 1. And when this point 1, 1, it moves positive 1 in the x direction and positive 1 in the y direction. So that means this is going to be our vector field. So this is how to plot this vector field xi plus yj using any arbitrary point. So whenever you are being asked to plot a vector field, what we do is that we use arbitrary points to plot it. So thank you very much.